Before we check on isometric drafting, let's take a look first at object snap. Object snap and auto mode will be your most frequently used precision tools in AutoCAD aside from coordinate entry and of course polar tracking if you are working with angles. So start shaking hands with F3 and F8 on your keyboards to get acquainted with your new best friends. So going back to object snap, as the name suggests, you could snap to precise locations on an existing object on your drawing area whenever you are prompted for a point within a command. So let's try it once it is toggled on. So make sure your object snap are shining bright. And uh, let's invoke AutoCAD to do a line command. So type L and then enter. Now, to specify the first point for the line, try hovering your cursor over the existing geometry we earlier created. You would notice that green marks are appearing on the existing geometry and these are actually the object snap points where you could precisely specify a point being prompted by a command. Uh, for our case, a point being prompted by the line command. We'll also notice that a tooltip appears indicating the snap point your cursor is currently in. So in my case, I am currently on the intersection snap point. We have also here end point. We also have here midpoint. Okay. So for now, press escape to cancel the command. And let's check the object snap menu by right clicking the object snap icon or simply left clicking the down arrow beside the icon. So for me, I'll just right click. And you would see on the menu the available object snaps you can use. And those with the uh, check marks, in my case, endpoint, midpoint, center, quadrant, intersection, extension, and perpendicular, are the running object snaps that would persist when specifying a point on an object. So whenever these are present on the existing geometry, uh, this would appear whenever I am uh, prompted by AutoCAD to specify a point. Let's try unchecking everything except uh, endpoint. So uncheck everything. Click, left click, left click, left click, and leave endpoint alone. And then click anywhere outside the menu to exit. Now, you start line command again. So type L and then enter and hover again over the existing geometry. You would notice that you could only snap to end point. And now, what if I want to snap to the midpoint? Well, just right click on the uh, icon again and select this time midpoint. Then click outside. Then going back to the geometry, there the midpoint icon appears together with, of course, the endpoint icon. But I changed my mind. I want to snap at an intersection and I only want to see snap points for the intersection and I don't like the other snap points. Well, if you are a brat like this guy who is talking, then to grant that wish, you can simply press and hold the shift key on your keyboards and then right click anywhere your drawing area. So press and hold the shift key and then right click and select from the contextual menu your wish of any snap point. But uh, for now, let's select intersection. And once you hover your cursor over the existing geometry, your 
wish was granted. For the out snap, the icon just beside your object snap. Turning this on would track your cursor along vertical and horizontal alignment paths from object snap points. And you could use it as a visual cue. So try turning it on and then create a line. So L, enter. As for example, I want the first point of the line to start from the intersection of this endpoint and this endpoint. So I will hover my cursor over this endpoint. And you'd notice that there is a alignment path that appears. And same is true with this one. Okay? So horizontal doesn't appear. There, horizontal, and then vertical. And then I'll just drag it downwards. And then once the two alignment path uh, appears, I'll just click and there is your first point exactly at that intersection of those two endpoints so for now just escape and you could use that uh, for your own advantage before we leave object snap let's go to options by right clicking anywhere your drawing area and select drafting tab you can set here the options for auto snap and how to track you might want to adjust them later on so it is important you know you can change these settings for your advantage say for example you might want to uh, increase the size of the object snap marker on your uh, drawing areas or you may want to snap to the uh, hatch objects or dimension lines but uh, for me, all is just fine, but maybe except for this one, display auto snap aperture box. Let's close first the uh, options and invoke AutoCAD again to do a line command. And please notice your cursor, it changed into a uh, the crosshairs only. So escape again and then back to options in the drafting tab check now on the uh, display auto snap aperture box its size could be adjusted uh, on this uh, section but leave it as is and hit enter on your keyboard to apply our changes again start align command and hover to any snap point You'd uh, see now the aperture box with the crosshairs. And one last thing before we finally bid goodbye to object snap. Let's bring out its contextual menu again by simply right clicking its icon and choose object snap settings. From the dial box, make sure to check or select on the object snap modes endpoint midpoint center yes you may use quadrant for circles intersection and perpendicular these are the normal usual guys we use in conjunction with f3 for precision and then click ok to apply and invoke again autocad to do a line command to so type l and then enter and hover your cursor to any geometry or object on your drawing area for me i'll choose this line at the edge and while your cursor is hovering to any object or line press the tab key on your keyboards a few times and observe what's happening you would notice that pressing the tab key will cycle through all the snap points available for that object say for example i'll choose the corner here and then press tab again it is cycling the available running object snap points for those objects but for me i love uh, 
working like a breath. So I choose a specific snap point by pressing the shift key and then right click and demand for my wish. Say for example, I only want the midpoint. So select on midpoint and there your wish is my command. Oh, how I miss watching in cinemas. This time, you're only selecting from the geometry, specifically midpoint. Or let's select another choice or another wish. So shift, right click, and let's for example, endpoint. So only endpoint is appearing. So, I love to work in that manner. Pressing Shift plus right click. So, just escape to cancel. 